Everyone has seen the Diet Coke and Mentos experiment. Well, we're gonna try it here in Minnesota with hot Diet Coke and extreme cold and see what happens. To prepare for this, I've made a stand for the Diet Coke bottle to go into. It has a wooden base so the bottle won't melt from the burner and it will fit snugly inside the legs. And I've taken some time to skewer some of the Mentos so that we can quickly drop them in and made a tube to drop them so we can try that method as well. Well, it looks like the wood makes it float a little too much. So I need to figure out how that's how I'm gonna keep this a little bit further down. So we're gonna let it sit here and warm up for a while. It's been sitting out here for a while and the temperature isn't moving. So I think I've got an idea as to why. So I think what the problem was is that when this wood is sitting on the bottom, that the water doesn't have enough contact with the pan and the heat source. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take these screws and back them out just a bit so that there's some space for the water underneath the board. Try this again. Still not getting too warm, so I think I'm gonna bring the pot inside and boil it on the stove. I decided to switch it out with a new bottle to make sure there's enough carbonation. Still having a tough time getting the temperature to boiling, even here inside the house. Because the pan is so big and we can't put a lid on it, it's taken forever to get it warmed up. But the coke is 200 degrees, so I think we're going to give it a try. All right, three, two, one. Ah. Well, what happened is the Mentos wouldn't go all the way down into the bottle. One. Gotta make some adjustments on the Mentos part. Thank you. Well, this part's kind of interesting. You can see what's happened to the size of the bottle. It's always hard to tell what variable messed it up. So when I dropped the Mentos into the pop bottle, it was already shooting up, so these had a hard time falling in. So that was one factor. Another factor this time is I've got a turkey baster. I'm gonna try to take some of the liquid out of the top so that there's more room for it to fall in. And then this time we'll also try the, the method of just dropping him in with the tube. So we'll see if any of those make an impact. Oops, I need a card. Shoot. A little bit better, but still another miniature Coke bottle, but nothing too special with that one. See what to try next. Well, the drop method with some of the Diet Coke siphoned out of the bottle 
seem to work best, but I still think that opening the bottle and boiling it, you lose too much carbonation. So this last one is going to be the most dangerous one. So got a little bit of a mask for it. But we are going to uh, have the water boiling ahead of time. And then we're going to put a sealed bottle in and let it heat up that way and then drop, open it and then drop them in after that. Because I don't know what's going to happen with that bottle, I've got some extra eye protection and face protection before I go out there. So I'm not quite sure what's going on here because it looks like there's less liquid in the bottle, but I'm still going to give it a try. All right, here we go. Oh, I need a card still. There we go. It worked. Yes. <laughs> Whew. Finally, we got it to work.